Hey everybody, it's Jang here with a look at a LEGO Creator set called Rainforest Animals. Comes with 215 pieces. This is a three-in-one set, and this is the first build, or the major build, the one they advertise largest on the front of the package. Let's get right to the good stuff here. <laughs> yeah, that guy. A very colorful parrot. It's done in a very cartoonish style and it looks really, really cool. Really makes you want to buy this set just for this. I mean, forget the fact that it's a three in one build. Forget the fact that there's a whole lot of functionality here. What? What? That is just something to look at, but no. Well, first of all, you've got some posability with the wings being able to come forward and up. They're on ball joints right here. And you've got kind of fingers for the feathers. So you can really spread those feathers out. You can make them go this way if you want to. Really open those up, make it look really, really excited. You can open up the mouth, you can close the mouth. It's got a tail back here. You can kind of wag the tail up and down a little bit. It's got a little bit of posability in the feet there, although that actually does hold. I didn't think it was gonna hold but it's just barely able to hold, even with the, the wings up like that. So just a little bit of ratcheting uh, range of motion down there. And you can also bring these feet together. I don't know if there's some way that you can figure out to get this thing to perch somehow, but if you do have something set up with studs on the side, you could probably get it to actually perch like that. So that's a cool little extra bit of realism to add to it. But, oh, my bad. A little bit fragile down here. don't want to get too rough with that, but the major functionality of this thing is something totally unexpected and really special. It's just, well, you just have to see it to understand it. They give you these little one-by-one -one tile pieces here, and you can feed them to the bird because it's got kind of a an opening there where all this will fit in. You can just keep putting those in like so. All right, that's different, but uh, and also unexpected, but uh, that's not where things get interesting. Where things get interesting is back here. The tail? <laughs> yes, that just happened. Went right through his system. So, uh, yeah, we see what went on there. But uh, <laughs> beyond that, a little uh, embarrassing bodily function. Just a beautiful bird. Really nice just to look at. A really nice build too, some interesting uh, techniques used throughout it. Nothing too fancy, but this is also one that you wanna look at for parts, for different colors of parts. They have some interesting new options. So be sure to check out the instructions for this, if nothing else, to just see what parts are available in what colors. Also as a part of this same build, you get to make this little frog and a fly. So everybody gets to eat. In this set, the frog has a articulating upper jaw, which can open up directly just up and down, but it can also kind of rotate just a little bit because that's also on a ball joint. So you can see you can kind of get a little bit of a silly look to them. You can also turn those, those eyes around a little bit. So instead of looking so cross-eyed, it can look a little bit different, but I think he just looks really happy this way. Close that down. I think that'll close down. Yeah, pretty far like that. And you know, you can try to, feed this little fly to him. It's the funniest looking little little thing. It's very creator, right? It's uh, just very simple, but it's got some personality to it. I like that. I'm glad they didn't try to go more realistic with this, but you know, kind of fit that in there. It's just barely going to fit in the mouth of the thing, kind of. Makes it look like it's trying to escape or something. But uh, a pretty simple, straightforward build this one is. It's got the ability to, to move the legs back here a little bit. Just a single hinge joint there. You can kind of rotate these. They represent the feet a little bit. But that's pretty much it for this one. It's all about the parrot with this build. But there are two other builds. Let's check those out. Check it out. It's a chameleon. Hello, little buddy. When I was a young kid, I would have ranked chameleons as one of my favorite animals in the entire world, for sure. Just such a cool looking guy. The way the eyes move independently, they're slow, they seem kind of friendly and stuff. And this is really nice looking, this Lego representation of one. I like that quite a lot. Let's see what we can do with this one. Well, the head can be moved around. 
up, down, side to side. Of course, you can adjust adjust the whole eye, or you could, you know, with this red part, or you can turn just the little eye tile piece by itself. Interesting where they put the joints here. Uh, yeah, that's it's different, you know, it puts a little bit of the kind of a shoulder blade up high. I like that. These, uh, these feet are shaped pretty cool. Got the ability to move the rear legs back and forth. You can also bring them out. You can move the feet in and out like that. And then you got the tail that can be curled down all the way around. It can be curled up if you want to, however you want to set that up. So yeah, another cool one. You know, usually with these builds, you do the first one and it's really outstanding and then you do another one and it just doesn't measure up. But uh, I still like that previous one better, but this is really nice too. This stands on its own as a nice build, a nice design. Doesn't look too much like it's cobbled together from parts, you know, as a secondary thing from another build. I think the colors work out well because of the subject matter. I like this. I, I would be willing to, to keep one of these on display. All right, let's move on to the last build. That is a turtle. No, not a turtle. Oh, 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 a uh, spider monkey. Armadillo? Hawk, definitely a hawk. Not a hawk? What is it? Oh, it's a fish. It's a bright, colorful, tropical fish. Nice. Yeah, this is a fairly simple as far as its construction is concerned and what it can do. It's got the dorsal fin, which can be moved up and down a little bit. You got your tail fins, which can be brought together, pulled apart, and you got your little swimming fins on the sides, which can be angled any kind of way because they are, oops, <laughs> not supposed to do that. They are on little ball joints. And it's got the funniest face. When I was putting this together, I, I, I wasn't really looking ahead. I was focusing on, I was concentrating on two things at once. And I didn't realize that these were not going to be eyes. Because these are actually eye pieces. The two little white tiles there, those are the small eyes. But you just don't see the, the, uh, the texture. You don't see the printing on the top because it's covered over from the top. And it, it, this, this looks really good. It's another nice, uh, proper build uses the least parts of the three official builds here, but it goes together nicely. It's really colorful, puts together you know a bunch of different colors, but it doesn't look mixed up. It doesn't look like it's cobbled together. It doesn't look like it's thrown together with parts that shouldn't be together. So another one that's done nicely, I even like how they got the hinges of those hinge, those plate uh, hinges to come out the front, just to add a little extra just depth right there, kind of the bridge of the nose. Nicely done. And of course, you can rearrange the eyes to make it look like it's looking down or looking back or something. Just another nice thing that I think would make a good display piece just by itself, just like that. Which is your favorite build, though, out of these three? For me, it's gonna have to be the first one for sure, but I think all of them are good. It's kind of a tie for me between this one and the chameleon build for for second place they're they're all really good to me but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section which of these you prefer and also what you think of the set on the whole time for me to go build some more stuff so i can bring you some more reviews and also work on some custom stuff in between so i'll be talking to you again soon bye for now